Hello, beautiful. How are you? I came out here looking like this. Yes, I'm Monica. Welcome to my channel. Oh, welcome back. I came out here looking like this because I just got my little haircut, but I don't want you to think that it's gone to my head. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes when we get a little haircut, we look a little cute, things get to our, go to our head. But I'm out here for a special reason today. I probably won't be out here for a long time after today. But I want to share some things with you and I keep making videos even though nobody's watching. Do you hear me say subscribes? I have said it sometimes, but I'm not trying to get subscribers. I'm not trying to get likes and loves. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. I have a purpose and I say that all the time. When I created this YouTube channel, I have a few others, a couple others. One is for the children, one is for people who inspire me. I'll be trying to do more videos on those channels soon. But this one is for God. And that's why I continue to come out here and say what I have to say. So I just want to encourage you today. Be careful. Some people are trying to get paid out here. I understand that. But be careful needing followers, needing people to like you, needing people to validate you. Okay? Now. I am cute and I do look cute, but I'm comfortable with me. So I got my hair cut and this is how, instead of rolling my hair, even in its natural state, I'll just be doing my little, two, my little band two knots. And then when I take it down, it'll have a little curl and I'm gonna take it down all over my head. But I just wanted to show you that is how it's gonna turn out. It looks really pretty when I take it all down. I really wanted tight curls on this side going around. But this is what I wanna tell you. Something about myself. Listen, I want to warn you about being deceived. I prayed a prayer and I asked God to remove every fake person, every person that was not really my friend out of my life. And I'm going to tell you, I asked some people some favors that I really needed. And the first times, a couple people didn't come through. And one of them explained that doing certain things makes enemies. And I understood what she was saying. And at the same time, I understood that if I really was in need, that I couldn't depend on that person. But I still understood exactly what that person was saying. And then the other person, it just wasn't a good time. So later on, I asked them, the same person, one of those same people, and that one person was able to help me. You see, we are not an island unto ourselves. And some of us have a short amount of time. Some of us, we, we, we just have a few days left and we're trying to live our best life. I understand that. But people are more important than things. And when the people are gone or the things are gone, sometimes we will wish we would have done things because we all at one time or another need somebody, okay? But my message is about, my message is about money and the love of money and the root of all evil. But I, I was watching a beautiful ceremony and I did see some things that, that made me think a few things, but I was watching a, a video of a person and it was so beautiful and I was crying. And it's, this is something that is being passed from a father to a daughter. And I, I looked out on YouTube. I was out there to give a message to the person, one of the people involved. And instead I got caught up in a video made by somebody else. And at first I thought maybe, I, you know, that's not why I'm out here to watch a video that somebody else is making about somebody else. But I watched it and it was to me, a person I learned later of the cloth also. And it was as if the person was in judgment. Maybe God revealed things to him about these people, but there's so much to talk about. We do have to be concerned with being deceived. And some of us are maybe shepherds and watchmen and, and to warn the people. But we also have to be concerned about 
where people are talking so much about other people and what's going on in somebody else's life, because it's kind of really like gossip, men of the cloth are not, and judging, passing judgment on another family or another group of people, we have to be careful. So let me tell you this example about money. And this will be an example that hopefully you can understand and relay into other areas of your life. I was at a gas station. I had just a few dollars. When I say a few, it was about $5 bills, okay? Just to get from point A to point B one day. And I counted the $5 bills before I got out of my vehicle. And I walked in the store. But before I got out of my vehicle, I had to change spots and positions. I was sitting behind this car, and this car was not moving. This lady was not getting out, pumping her gas. I was thinking somebody just coming out of the store that maybe was paying for it. And it wasn't happening. So I moved to another pump. I counted the money after moving to another pump. I had not opened my door when I was on the other side of another pump. So I go into the store after counting $5 in ones. I hand the lady, the cashier, the money, but I didn't count it out to her. That's the first lesson. Count it out. She immediately spread them out in her hand and I had to look and she said this is just four ones so I went back out to my vehicle and looked to see was there a one and one of my grandbabies said I just saw you count out five ones so I went back into the store and instead of me arguing with the lady I said God will deal with this and in my mind I felt like this lady got me for a dollar. I said, man, is it getting that rough out here that this lady would try to get over on me for a dollar? She taking people's dollars. And in my mind, I was convinced because I had a witness also that saw me count out five ones that this lady had taken my money, a dollar. And I was like, man. And as I pumped my gas, and thought about it and was really accusing this lady and feeling like this is a this world is getting terrible i finished pumping my gas i got back in my vehicle and i noticed something on the ground all the way at the other pump that i was parked at at first and it looked like a dollar and a car was driving past it and i went over to it and lo and behold it was a dollar bill but in my mind I'm thinking, I'm not convinced that this was the dollar bill that I had in my hand because how could it have flown away and I not, not know about it? And then I felt bad because I thought, oh, this lady was telling the truth. I really only gave her $4. This was probably my other dollar, but I still wasn't convinced in my mind. This, an this is an example of how we can be deceived. Was that my dollar? Did it fly out of my hand because I had it folded? Lest when I gave it to her, I would have saw that it was spread and it was five bills there. But I had folded it up when I got out before I went in the store. And I just handed it to her like that. I did not count it out. So there's, there's a few lessons there. But in my mind, I still am not sure if that was my dollar originally or if that was something that God was blessing me right back with. So this whole lesson is really, is, I don't have time because my video is about to end, but I want to talk about being deceived because these are the days and times that we will be deceived. See, if you confuse, if I'm confused about what really happened, and I tell it to somebody else, and they give me advice based on my confused information to them, it's like the blind leading the blind, okay? So when you are confused, don't go running to other people for advice when you're giving them confusing information. Because it's like the blind leading the blind. You have to seek God, okay? Don't run to people's YouTube channels trying to figure out something about somebody else's life. We need to spend more time with God ourselves and, cons and, and concern with our lives instead of uh, what's going on with other people. That's my message. It might not have come out exactly the way I want it, but the love of money is the root of all evil. We have to be careful about you know wanting power and being liked and making money. I wish I could say more, but this video is about to end. God bless you.
I don't know when I'll see you again, but I hope that this has been a blessing to you. God bless you, okay?